I'm Kelvin Bates. When I'm not in the lab, I end up spending a lot of my time doing theater. When I got here, I never thought I'd be doing any more theater in my life, really. I figured I'm going to Caltech where they do science. That's all I'm going to do. I better focus and buckle down from here on out. And uh, I was pleasantly surprised to find that there was an active community doing theater here and plenty of opportunities for people to join in. Most recently, I was in Boldly Go, which was a Star Trek parody musical written by a graduate student here and his brother. It was a ton of fun. I played Captain Kirk. It takes a lot of time, but it creates a really nice sense of community. My advisors have both been very supportive and they both come to shows that I've put on. For me, it's really important to have some sort of creative outlet. It keeps me more focused and productive when I am trying to do my work in lab, which does still happen. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Bianca Lepe and I realized that I loved traveling when I was introduced to the Caltech Y. In particular, I was introduced to a program called India Key Coach, which allowed me as a frosh to travel to India and learn a little bit about the culture of India. I really learned a lot about the global perspective. Since coming to Caltech, I've been able to go to India twice. I've traveled to London and the UK, and I've also been to the Galapagos. But I've also known friends who've gone places like backpacking in South America, traveling through Indonesia, as well as traveling across Europe. So I would definitely say that the bounds are limitless. Wherever you'd want to go, there's a possibility of going there. My name is Brittany Person. I'm on the swim team and water polo team. I knew I needed to swim because I kind of go crazy when I don't swim. I couldn't leave behind swimming. I really needed like the structure of a varsity team. I'd say a lot of us are kind of weird, kind of quirky, but that's really fun in my opinion. Half the people just kind of jumped in and they're having fun and they just work hard. Sometimes they work harder than anyone else. I love coming to practice and working with them every day. I love going to breakfast afterwards with them and I love at conference championship cheering them on and having them cheer me on. And really this, the team atmosphere is amazing and I, I've never experienced anything like it. Hi, I'm Michael Post. When I first got to Caltech, I had the opportunity to join the Graduate Student Council, or the GSC, and as chair, I got to lead this whole organization, advocating for a grad student's academic life, its extracurricular life, and its social life. Um, one of the cooler things I got to do was actually have a battle of the bands. We decided to call it Tech Stock. It turned into this really epic all-day music festival. And it was also a really amazing avenue to meet more faculty. All of the leadership administration positions are filled by faculty, and their doors are open, you can just go talk to them. It was a really great experience and opportunity to be able to follow both my scientific passions in lab and also my passion for leadership uh, through this organization. Hi, I'm Nick Trank. Hi, I'm Tiffany, and we were part of the team that organized the very first Science Olympiad state competition here at Caltech. Usually the state competitions are run at local high schools, but this time we managed by talking to administration and getting a lot of faculty support to bring it here on campus. We brought a lot of eager middle school and high school students to compete. We got to interact with them. They all got to see the great Caltech campus, and overall it was a lot of fun. Everyone was really excited because they were at Caltech and also they were about to compete. Students just got to enjoy their passions. They got to spend an entire day doing science, working really hard with their team and watching all their efforts pay off. It's been so much fun working with all the Caltech students to make this possible. Uh, my name is Nishant Desai and I'm one of the house presidents. As Caltech students, it's kind of interesting that we get to run our own houses. As a part of that, we have to make sure that we do it right and we do it smoothly and that's sort of what I'm here to do. Coming into Caltech, I had never really thought of student government as something that really appealed to me. It was out of the blue, something that I really found a passion for and really made me realize that it's important to sort of embrace a diversity of opinions. Not just your own, it's important to listen to people that disagree with you. Probably more than it is important to listen to people who agree with you. Uh, that's like something that I've learned that I didn't really expect to and something that I'm definitely going to take um, out of Caltech. I'm Michelle Wong and I'm on the Caltech women's basketball team. You have your community in your house, uh, you have your community in your study groups, but basketball is like a completely different dynamic. It challenges you in different ways. I don't always want to be studying, so basketball is like a good release from that. It also just gives me more energy. Sometimes when I come back from practice, I feel more energized from working out and that kind of motivates me to do my other work. So right now I'm in Brown Gym. It's become a very comforting place for me, especially last year after our two conference wins and the celebration that happened in this gym, I think it's definitely grown to be a very positive atmosphere. The best part about being on the women's basketball team is how challenging it is. You basically have to tap into something else that I never really thought about before I came here. 
My name is Sean McKenna, and for a lot of my time at Caltech, I've been involved with ASCID, which stands for the Associated Students of the California Institute of Technology. It's our student government on campus. I had various responsibilities from like planning meetings to helping people when they want to have parties get all of ASCID's equipment. One of the things that everyone who's on the board of directors does is midnight donuts. At midnight on a random night in the middle of term, basically every undergraduate comes out onto the Olive Walk and demands donuts. It's really fun for one night I get to see literally everyone on campus in the same spot within 20 minutes and I think that's a really cool experience that you definitely wouldn't have anywhere other than Caltech. Hi I am Nadia Herrera. I have been playing the violin since I was in third grade and honestly it's another part of my life that you would consider as essential as waking up and eating every day and coming here I had no expectations for the music program because it is such a science focused school but what I encountered were very high level musicians and people who are just absolutely wonderful to work with and working in chamber groups so consistently just allows you to grow more as a musician. Once I get to the music house, it's like time stops. I stop worrying about my experiments and I can just play music and be very happy. I do spend all day in the lab. I think science, science, science. I wake up thinking science. I go to bed thinking science and just, you know, every now and then being able to go to bed thinking I have a concert tomorrow is just, it's a change of scenery. It helps me keep touch with like that part of like my humanity, who I am, as opposed to like I'm a scientist and that's it. I'm Rob Anderson. I'm Adrian Costantino. And we are here in the Formula SAE garage, the home of Caltech's first Formula SAE racing team, where we designed and built a complete electric vehicle from the ground up. And the part that I really enjoyed, I got to lead the direction of the club, uh, but also just be able to interact with all the students and people in industry. It gave me that experience of pretty much a startup culture. Being able to fail and learn from all those mistakes was extremely valuable. My favorite experience was doing all the design and then doing the simulations and really seeing how a lot of the theory that we learned actually apply to the real engineering world. The electric competition is very new. All the teams are kind of trying to figure things out. And even though things didn't work out too well at competition, it was one of the most fun and exciting parts about the whole club this year. We learned so much. This summer I'm interning at SpaceX. All companies really look for people who have real hands-on experience. Being a part of this club and founding it also got me my opportunity at SpaceX. I just kind of started with an idea I had and Caltech really were supportive the whole entire way through it. We have a small campus community, but that doesn't mean that there's nothing to do. It means that you want to do everything because you know everyone and you know everything that's going on and it's also cool that you want to get involved in all of it. Really what I think is most important of being successful at Caltech is being open-minded and willing to try new things. It's really easy to get involved. You have so many options. You don't have to be in the lab all the time. You have the opportunity to do so many other things at Caltech.